So tonight I'm riding a black unicorn. Hello and welcome to the August Voltaire uh, newsletter. Lara Voltaire newsletter. I haven't done one of these in so long that I forgot what they were called. Um, I have some very, very big announcements. First of which being that Orville has quit. Orville has quit the show. It has something to do with gothic homemaking. And I, I guess I was overworking him. He says I, I was working him to death. How is that possible? The guy died over a hundred years ago. Uh, in any case, so he's gone. Also, there is no time for a set, no time for lighting, no time for special effects, even title cards. No time for any of that because I am racing to Dragon Con, my biggest show of the year. So it's just going to have to be like this this time around, kids. So just pretend you see a title card when I go... Upcoming shows, where am I playing near you? Well, obviously Dragon Con is the very next show. Uh, now, this is exciting because there's going to be quite a lot of shows at Dragon Con for the first time in a long while. Friday night at midnight is the very first show, and uh, that's gonna be in the atrium ballroom of the Marriott. I'm playing with the Cog is Dead, and they're absolutely spectacular. If you've never seen them before, make sure to catch them because they're really, really great. Uh, and then Saturday at 2.30 p.m., despite being deemed a, a fire hazard by the fire marshal, I am back on the concourse. I guess they have a bigger concourse now at America Mart. I'm playing there at 2.30 p.m. Totally different show from the big atrium ballroom concert. And then at 5.30 p.m., there's a Q&A with Voltaire. Uh, I think it's in the International Tower of the Hyatt. Then, that's all Saturday. Then Sunday... 2.30 p.m. I'm back at America Mart at the concourse. Another totally different show there. Totally different musical show. And then 5.30 p.m. on Sunday in the Crystal Ballroom of the Hilton. Quite possibly the most exciting thing for me to tell you today is the world premiere of Gothic Homemaking. I'll be showing episode one and time permitting, episode two. Uh, and then answering questions. Uh, so... If you are as excited about Gothic homemaking as I am, then you'll want to be there in the Crystal Ballroom of the Hilton, 5.30 p.m. on Sunday. And then that's pretty much it for all of my responsibilities at Dragon Con. I have a show in New York City at, the, uh, I want to say it's the Mercury Lounge, at the Red Party. That's September 17th. And then uh, September 23rd, I'm somewhere. Oh, Steamposium in Seattle. I'm back in Seattle, September 23rd, 22nd or 23rd. Then October 7th, 8th, and 9th, I am back in Russia, in St. Petersburg, Moscow, and Ekaterinburg for the first time. I have an alert on my phone. I gotta turn it off. There we go. Uh, back in Russia, 7th, 8th, and 9th of October. October 15th, I'm at Sinister Creature Con in Sacramento. October 22nd, I'm at the Elysium in Austin, Texas. And then there's a bunch of other shows and you can find them all at www.voltaire.net slash calendar. <laughs> Music. <laughs> hey, what's going on with Heart Shape Wound? When's that coming out? I'm gonna go with never. I'm kidding. It's coming out, I swear to God. Uh, but it used to have seven songs. It was a, a short little album written about a particular relationship I was in at this point now a couple of years ago. But I just got out of another year-long relationship with some very high highs and some lows as well. And subsequently, you know what that means. That means there's new material. Uh, there's at least two more songs. And now Heart Shape Wound is a longer album, which of course means going back into the studio to record some more songs. Uh, so I'll be doing that. Uh, if I had to guess, I would say, I don't know, sometime 2017. That's when that album's coming out. So look out for that. And books. I have completely given up on writing the Chichan novel because Gothic Homemaking is eating my life. It's eating my entire life. So once the first season of Gothic Homemaking is finished, then I'm really going to, you know, sort of get down and dirty with a heart-shaped wound and possibly get back to the Chichan novel. And that leads us to last month's contest. Last month being, I don't know, six months ago. I think it was something like, which guests would you like to see on Gothic Homemaking? And here's the winner. The winner is anybody who said Noel, Noel, Noel Fielding, Noel, Noel Fielding of the Mighty Boosh. And I'll tell you why, because I love him and I love that show so much. And in fact, I love the Mighty Boosh so much that there's actual, like completely lifted references to the Mighty Boosh. Very, very direct references to the Mighty Boosh. Uh, so, 
anybody who said no fielding as of over a month ago, it has to be over a month ago, you will win whatever the hell prize I was touting on the show, and if there's more than one winner, I will dig something up for the rest of you. And then, of course, that leads us to this month's contest. I have no idea. Who got time for that? I don't. Not right now, because I have to go to the airport. But I hope to see you all at Dragon Con. And those I don't see at Dragon Con, I hope to see on the road sometime. Thank you so much for everybody. Who, thank you so much to everybody who came out to the uh, High Cost of Knowledge tour. And there was something else. There was something else. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. Gothic homemaking. <laughs> Gothic Homemaking begins airing on YouTube right here on this channel starting October 6th. Episodes 1, 2, and 3 are already finished and loaded up on YouTube, ready to air on the 6th, the 13th, and the 20th. Uh, so there's really not much more to say about that. I hope to see you there, and um, I hope you enjoy the show as much as I do. Until next time.